this place called Legacy Place right now. Let me show you guys some of it. It's like a, it's like a somewhat of a plaza slash mall. The whole time I actually lived here, I never got to come out. All these places are like super expensive to kind of go out and eat too. So obviously now that I'm in a better situation when I can, I take advantage and I come out here to just to kind of make up for the time that was lost. So I'm starving. I'm about to grab some food. It's actually cold out. I think it's about 30 degrees. So I'm about to get inside, grab a bite. I'll keep you guys updated. It's called Amelia's Taqueria, one of the best uh, Mexican food places in my opinion in Boston. So if you guys are around the Mass Ave, Huntington Ave area, make sure you check that spot out. I'm telling you that place is unbelievable. Back Bay area of Boston is like one of the nicest places in Boston. Uh, one of my favorite places to visit when I'm coming back home. I got played yesterday. It was super nice out today. I don't know what happened. Just met up with my boy Heyron right here. Young Savage. Uh, me and Heyron actually go way back. We met in middle school and ever since then we've pretty much been up to no good. Um, that's pretty much what happens when you meet up in middle school in Boston. Uh, you end up doing no good. Now he's actually really good really good, good friends of mine. Uh, he's an aspiring fashion designer. You can see him right here. He thinks he got like a little fashion style, but like, you know what I'm saying? It's all right. Somebody drinking the Haterade. Haterade, Haterade. Where'd you get that from? Haterade? Haterade. Haterade. Guys, let me know if you guys have ever heard of the Haterade. Heron says I'm drinking some of that. Up buying something at the store looks like we're crossing here let me make sure almost dropped my coffee on my new sweater uh, we're actually down here on Newbury Street right now um, again one of the nicest places in Boston in my opinion I used to come down here a lot when I was still in high school honestly just for motivation just because this is probably one of the richest parts of Boston I used to come down here all the time simply because I wanted to get around that environment I wanted to get around the people that obviously were way ahead of me I figured why not come down where uh, a lot of the rich people are and hope that I can bump into one of them and maybe get some guidance find a mentor or whatever etc so I'd come down here a lot um, just a window shop honestly I never could really buy anything but now I come down here obviously I'm in a much better uh, situation so come down here do a little shopping this store bodega is super dope <laughs> just came to this place called Brooklyn Boulders. It's like a rock climbing place where you can rock climb and it's my first time in one of these. I got Lee here, I got my boy Heyron. And right now we're about to learn how to actually climb these things. And they're like super high, let me show you guys. So we got Easy Instructor, he's showing us it goes all the way up there. I honestly think I'm gonna crush this though because you know, your boy's an absolute savage, but we'll see because uh, the last time I went rock climbing, I actually was went to uh, Rocky Mountains, it was actually in the real mountain. So it was on a real life experience when I went rock climbing. This is more like, of course it's inside, so it's a lot safer, but again, it's, my, it's been a while since I did it. So we'll see how it goes. What happened my G? What is you doing? So we're about to start, I'm gonna have to get this set up. I got these funny shoes on, you know what I'm saying? I already know you guys, the boys gotta come here swagged out. But I'm about to put this like a human diaper on. Uh, I'm trying to see how we put the harness on. How do you do this, bro? So don't worry, once your boy gets going, it's game over. Oh, here it goes. Are you going solo? <laughs> Chase. We're not even gonna do the medium ones. We're gonna cut straight to the hardest one. So this one catches you. This one does not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Going, Has anyone ever fallen from this guy right here? Uh, this one? Yeah. Like you mean by accident? Yeah. Yeah. I got it. Okay. All right, guys. So Lee's actually afraid of heights. Not the biggest uh, fan when it comes to roller coasters, rides, or any of that. So it's gonna be super funny because she's all the way up. 
And now she has to come all the way back down. You crushed it. <laughs> there you go. That's a full send or what? See, there you go. Oh, okay. You already know. We did the half send over here. This was like, you know, baby, you know what I'm saying? But it's time to get to that money. So we're gonna climb all the way to the top. And hopefully <laughs> I don't climb back down too. Competing to see who can go up the fastest. 20 seconds. 20 seconds. 21 seconds. All right, guys, craziest thing just happened. So I ended up going all the way to the top, then realized I didn't have my harness. So it was kind of crazy because I was actually going to get cocky. It's cool though because your boy had to go up there and save him. Yeah, luckily I stayed up there. My boy Hayron came through, went all the way up, brought the harness, and looked out for the boys. If not, I don't even know what would happen. I literally almost, I was this close to almost jumping off without the harness. That, falling from there to this, doesn't equal anything good. So I am gonna give this a 10 second head start. See if she can it out. All right, so Heron's gonna give her a 10 second head start. Boom, and then he's gonna go up. He actually crushed me on the last one. He got a faster time, so I give him that. <laughs> This is what resistance looks like right here. <laughs> Just someone being mad resistant. Come on, bro. It's okay. Mr. Talking about that haterade, I think, I think you had some of that. No, no, never that. All I do is appreciate it. Some of that haterade, None you know what I'm saying? What's going on everybody? So we are wrapping up the Boston trip. We're back at the airport. Me and Pluto. Pluto, say what's up, boy. Say what's up, say what's up, say what's up. So I'm back with Pluto. I didn't get to um, post too much throughout the last couple days just because honestly the weather was not the best here. Let me show you guys. If you look out, it's been just rainy. This trip was more for, you know, just visiting the family, spending some quality time. Got to see some of my best friends. Just taking a look at my bag, making sure nobody takes it. Uh, usually, for these trips, I like to come back every few months. First, of course, to see the family, but also just to get a quick reminder. Uh, because, of course, you know, every time I go back, I visit my mom, and she still lives in the same place. And, of course, one of the poorest parts of Boston, she lives in Dorchester. So, for me, you know, coming back to, you know, the place where I used to live, uh, it always gives me a reminder and it reminds me I need to keep grinding to get my mom out of Dorchester into a much better home, much better place. You know, when I'm coming back, I'm going back home with uh, my purpose, right? I know exactly, you know, what I'm working for, what day in and day out, you know, I'm striving to do. Because it all comes down to purpose, right? If you don't know, if you don't have a purpose, if you don't know what your purpose is, it makes it a lot harder to stay motivated. It's a lot different when you're grinding just to make money compared to like when you're grinding to make money but also move your mom out of a you know, place where she's lived at for years, right? Into a new place or if you're trying to go back home and do a lot more things with friends, things that you could never do before. It's a lot, you know, now it's a lot more fulfilling when you're able to do these things. So obviously I'm in a decent situation where I can come back and have some fun when I come to Boston. but. I have not reached my goals yet, of course, of moving my mom out of where she lives and obviously a whole lot more. So if you guys want to see more videos like this, of course, make sure you leave a thumbs up, a like on this video and let me know where are the places, what are some cool spots to visit. I'm always interested in seeing new locations. I'll keep you guys posted for the next trip and I'll do, you know, obviously I'll get a lot more content for you guys to see. Peace. Puro, say bye. Bye. <laughs>